Hi you one, Mr Proctor here at the start of our second week of these stories that I'm reading to you and it's been really nice to hear from our phone conversations or from parents in emails that you're enjoying them, you're listening to them and you're imagining being back in school. So I thought today's story I'd do quite a special little treat. If you've read your home learning email, something very important happened on Saturday to a very, very grand and very um, charming lady. Our Queen celebrated her second, because she has two birthdays, her second birthday of the year, and she is 94, and I thought, why not read this book? Here we are, The Queen's Knickers, by Nicholas Allen. It's quite a funny book, is this? The Queen likes to dress smartly. So she has an enormous wardrobe for her clothes and a slightly smaller chest of drawers whoops, for her knickers. Dillis looks after the Queen's knickers. She has a special trunk for when the Queen goes away. One day the trunk went missing. The Queen's knickers! The Queen's knickers! Empty bed, no trunk. Mm -mm. It caused a great crisis and was only just sorted out before it reached the news at ten. The trunk had got mixed up with a picnic hamper. You don't want to be washing sandwiches and you don't want to be wearing and eating knickers, do you? The Queen has knickers for all occasions. Royal weddings, state funerals, foreign visits, horse riding with extra padding. Garden panties, at home, Balmoral, woolen, oof, and every day. At the opening of Parliament, the Queen wears her VIPs, very important pair. There is no picture of these, but here is the safe where they're locked up with other state secrets. When she travels, she has a special knickers with a small parachute inside. Oh God. Just in case. She has another pair for when on board ship see there that she pulls the cord and then her pants turn into a lifeboat, a kind of dinghy. <laughs> but her most special knickers are her Christmas knickers. They are a gift from Scandinavia and are traditionally decorated with real holly. <laughs> Which is why she keeps her Christmas message very short. The royal knickers though are her most valuable. They are made of pure silk with gold thread and encrusted with diamonds, emeralds and rubies. They were first worn by Queen Victoria and are rather baggy. I wonder what knickers the Queen would wear if she visited our school. There'd be a terrible flap at the palace. Oh, Dillis! Oh, Dillis! Call the royal knicker maker, Dennis. Oh no, too fancy. Oh no, far too frilly. Oh no, far too plain. Oh no, far too silly. I shall just have to wear my everyday knickers. Then the poor queen would feel very awkward, as she's so particular about her clothes. But I would tell her something to put her at ease. You see, no one can see them anyway. Then she'd be sure to send a special note to me afterwards by the Royal Mail saying, <coughs> Her Majesty wishes to inform you that her visit was very enjoyable and most comfortable. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope 
that you are looking forward to another week of our storytelling. If you want to record your own stories, I've had two people do it and send me it over. I always like hearing people read from our class. Have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.